sir govindan sir uh, what are you for waiting we are waiting for uh, our uh, evaluators to join so as soon as they join i um, will uh, uh, hrdc will let me know then we'll start mm -hmm. <clears throat> maybe till then uh, we can all practice uh, <laughs> or do our work right the uh, moodle development work
I hope all of you have seen uh, a Google form, right? Wherein you have to enter the uh, Google Drive link as well as the Moodle link, right? Uh, so that is it is easier for HRDC to access it. So uh, please uh, fill it that today itself so that it is easier. Sir, go in and go to sir. Which link, sir, you are talking about? Hey, sir, just now we had discussed now a little while ago the Google Drive link, right? And the uh, our Genomeo site we had created a guest user, right? Your Moodle course link. Yes, yes, yes I got it. Okay. <laughs> No, this has been given so that HRDC also can access it, okay? Mm -hmm. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Aparna. So, uh, if all the participants are there, can we start the session? It's like 10 minutes ahead of what we have planned. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes. Uh, can we start now, ma'am? Right. Yes, yes. So, let's start, sir. Right. Okay. 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 So, uh, ma'am, you have the schedule, now. Right. Yeah, yeah. I have the list of participants. How they will be present. So, yeah. um, so we'll start with uh, Arun, sir. Right. Arun, sir, if you can um, uh, share your screen and start. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, first of all, let me welcome you uh, to this uh, e-content e uh, refresher course. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have been developing this. Uh, um, a Moodle uh, course, uh, but most of them may not have completed because we are, we are just learning it uh, in the process of uh, doing it. So, uh, uh, but concept plans, everything is ready, which they will be showcasing today. Right. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Right. Uh, and Arun, sir, please uh, start. Okay. Good afternoon, respected Abarna, ma'am, and dear fellow participants. Let me introduce myself once again to you all. I am Arun, working as assistant professor in the Department of Commerce, Government College, Manandavadi, Vainat, Kerala. And uh, regarding this uh, program, this e-content development, uh, this is my first experience. I uh, uh, didn't do it before. So I know that it's not complete, it's not perfect. And I think more time is needed to make it perfect. Okay, uh, let me share my presentation.
सर इसे ट्विजे पर If you can go, yes. But I think you have to switch to the screen. That tab probably. Switch the tab, sir. Right then. We'll... Switch the tab. Top, top, top. Top. Oh. Browser tab, na sir. Browser yeah. tab. Select the browser tab which you want to present. Okay. Don't stop, sir. Just select the browser mm. tab. No? On the top. Uh, on the top, uh, or uh, maybe you can open it in a different browser and then share it. I don't get you, sir. What should I do? Sir, you, I think you are in one single browser. You are trying to do right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, top, there will be different tabs, na sir. So um, one is Google Meets tab. Then the mm -hmm. your uh, Genomeo tab will be there. Okay, so okay. select that Genomeo tab; it will come up. Right? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. That's it. Google that's visible. visible. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's visible, sir. Okay. So the topic I selected for my e-content development is. fundamentals of investment and i just selected this topic just because uh, it's general in nature not subject specific so that everybody is able to understand <coughs> this concept easily and uh, i started uh, my topic by asking a question uh, that uh, why should you invest and uh, it will uh, i think it will it is very easy to catch attention by asking question firstly and i have given the answer keeping merely money in your hand just like keeping mango seeds in your hand so why is investment makes you financially stable so uh, the content itself says that uh, investment is very good and everybody should make some investment and i have given uh no uh, youtube audio sorry video that tells uh, the importance of investment and i have also provided a link here mm. and uh, let's move on to the introduction part uh, i for explaining the introduction i use text and i have also given the audio link mom um, do i need to read the introduction part no sir i think we can go ahead mm. yes okay okay so uh, by using text and uh, i have given my own audio link here do we need to play the audio link yes please that would be nice it's a small audio yes just created it's not audible sir it's not audible what should i do oh, are you using some external uh, device sir for uh... no 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 i have uh, created an audio clip using audacity and uh, uploaded in google drive and no, link to uh, it Okay, sir. So, uh, anyways, you will be uploading this, so I will check it over there. You can proceed, sir. Don't. Okay. Yeah, that would be. I I'll check it while we are checking the content. Okay. Not okay. An issue. Yeah. Ma'am, links of all these modules uh, are available, ma'am, with uh, uh, HRDC, so you can easily go through. So entire yes. thing you can browse through, ma'am. Yes, yes. They have told me uh, through that Google form. They have asked me to check. So I'll check it after the presentation. So not a problem. Okay, so an audio link is given in the introduction. Next, I have given the objectives. There are two objectives for this course. The first one is to give everybody an exposure to the concept investment, and second one is to familiarize various investment avenues available. Then I have given the scheme of study. The entire study 
has been divided into seven part first you uh, four unit deals with the content exactly unit first investment meaning characteristics objectives unit two investment speculation gambling unit three investment avenues then a summary is given and uh, then there will be a course assessment then references additional resources and certificate so unit first uh, is the is about investment uh, <coughs> and here i have given a concept map uh, just now and also i have uploaded this concept map in google drive uh, if you click here uh, you will be redirected into concept plan and this is the entire plan of uh, my uh, e-content uh, e-course and uh, i cannot put all these things in my uh, e-content uh, because of the shortage of time and uh, uh, this is the this is my concept map then again i just uh, uh, introduce this topic i mean the introduction of investment by asking question uh, is there any difference between savings and investment uh, i explain savings the term savings and the difference between savings and investment by using the text uh, <coughs> and uh, the important parts were given uh, in bold letters definitions are also given here i am I also give a link by clicking this link uh, you will be taken into this area this explain about investment uh, and you can see a video here sorry is it audible it's not audible. It's okay, sir. You can go ahead. Not, not a problem. And uh, uh, the other part is uh, the meaning of investment. That is financial and economic meaning of investment. Uh, for this purpose, I use this tool book. I don't know what exactly the book is uh, but i just just selected this book uh, i found it more appealing and then about characteristics of investment then objectives of investment then types of investors and uh, the section module or unit is about uh, speculation and uh, gambling uh, explained by using text so the third module is about investment avenues and also a summary is given uh, then there is a course assessment uh, have use cues and if you click here, you will get multiple choice questions. Have given just three questions. multiple choice question this is a true or false question
And one more uh, section is there, references and additional sources. Uh, here I have given the book for uh, further reference and I have given some useful links too. And whatever content I created is just converted into Word format and uh, uploaded into Google file. If you uh, click here, uh, you will get the all the Word notes of the content. Sir, is that it, sir? Pardon, ma'am? Uh, are you done with the presentation, sir? No, 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 no. OK, OK. It's about uh, uh, the references. The references are uh, uh, the useful books for further reading, then useful link. This is the note given in the Google Drive. One more thing, I just created a link, and I have given a notification. Please click, click on money. If you click on money in your content, you will be redirected to a site, and you will get a video regarding. So if you click money anywhere, you will get a video regarding the investment. And uh, last just mentioned about the assessment certification. The certificate will be issued to the participant who secured at least 50% uh, uh, mark in each evaluation. That's all about my presentation. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, so a couple of uh, small things. Uh, one, it would be like I'm, I'm again uh, this comes with the limitation that uh, the kind of instructions you've got while preparing for the lecture is uh, not known to me so pardon me if i am overstepping somewhere but my first observation what i have is the more interactive it gets and probably if we can see um, the progress of content or the time needed usually to get through these those kind of like i know that you've included the audio the link suggestions and all of that it may be uh, more useful when it comes to a Moodle platform i've seen that you have given a sample of test which can also happen the answers and suggestion if that is possible it would be great to include that as well sir so that you know as we finish the test we also kind of get to know what is the answer for uh, and probably that is the most basic thing we can look at when we are looking at uh, e content or online pedagogy because even institutes like harvard says the most basic way of going with teaching it should be though we are changing the mode though we are changing technology and probably you know instead of switching technologies uh, maybe you know for one unit sticking to one kind of instruction can be video or some kind of uh, you know audio some one technology it will be easier for uh, students when they access it like when we use multiple kind of data in the same module it probably will access more data from them and it will it will create unnecessary chaos when they are reaching out to the content these are my small observations um, so Otherwise, it looks like organized, even if you said that, you know, it's only 65 percentage. To me, it looks like you've thought through the process. Um, and if any of the other participants, are, if you have some observation to give to Arun, sir, you can also take this opportunity to do that.
I have seen one hand raising also while sir was presenting. So anybody? OK, thank you, ma'am. I will definitely work on it. I will incorporate your valuable suggestion, and I will make it perfect. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, can we move to the next? Yes, we can. Uh, Govinda Guti, sir, just one question. Uh, was there a time limit given to you for presentation? Ma'am, 10 to 15 minutes, and okay. uh, maybe uh, five minutes of uh, discussion time uh, it can be, because we, have any, we are anyway delayed by half an hour. Uh, but that's okay. But um, uh, we can just manage it off. We have time probably till four forty-five. Four forty-five. So the, probably we can take five to seven minutes. Uh, right, I had right. informed sir that I had another meeting in the morning. That's why the delay comes from my side because of okay, that. No, so, no, no issues, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. So we can now probably take five also. to seven minutes, and uh, I definitely invite questions and discussion. That's the only way this will become a productive right, exercise right. because right. all of you have attended the classes. I have not oh. attended this. Right. Ma because right. the, yeah. uh, Moodle based classes, we got uh, two, two to three sessions, four sessions only we had. That is, uh, okay. uh, we had earlier two sessions and today we had two sessions and we had so several other tools we learned about it. So we are just okay. in the de development phase only. <laughs> right. Yes, absolutely. Sir. So then we can go into the next one, sir. Yes, uh, okay. uh, it is Shabna Mold. Shabna Mold, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, you can share your screen and start presenting now. Okay, sir. Is it visible, sir? Yes, ma'am, visible. Yes, yes, visible. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dr. Shabna Moltepe, currently working as an assistant professor in commerce in Sulam Salam Science College at Airport, created to University of Calicut. Here I am presenting on model course on financial market. Here I have three units. The first one is introduction to financial markets. Here I uploaded a video financial system, then components of financial system. Then the concept map I have created. This is about the functions of financial markets and types of financial market. I put here a selling model. In one financial market. Then I have put an assignment on financial market types of financial market in model. Then this is my second module, money market. Ma'am, uh, just one small suggestion. 
I know that we do not read out all the content, but for the benefit of participants from other areas, if you can tell them what is financial markets, like a small gist, you know, it makes more sense for them to you know sit through this. Okay, so uh, financial market is a place where buyers and uh, some main uh, functions of uh, borrowing and lending, price determination, information and aggregation, sharing, liquidity. It is a place for buying and selling of financial instruments. There are mainly two components that is, financial marketing, money market, and the capital market. The money market it's the market for the short term funds. It's up to one year, uh, like treasury bill, certificate of deposit, commercial paper, like that. Then another one, capital market, which is for long term securities, and then maturity period up to the three years. Then another financial guarantee market is uh, the mainly in my uh, module, I have two uh, main markets that is money market and the capital market. In detail, uh, money market, the features of money market, functions of money market, organized sectors. Then money market organization is very important. So I put it the money market instruments video. Then third, capital market. This is the concept. Uh, it involves all things uh, financial market, that is, money market uh, and the capital market, uh, its functions, components, features, and all those things are to be included. This is the video about the financial system. Participants are little. Ma'am, you are not audible, so some problem with your mic, I think. Mm. So is it audible? Now it is okay. Yeah, it is okay. 
participants have provided it here. Hello. Hello. Ma'am, are you saying something because, like sir said? Yes, sir. I have explained it to you. Yes, uh, I have first one introduction and then second one money market, uh, unit two and then three capital market. These all things are to be with and then another assignment will be provided on the topic financial market. Yes, sir. Have you completed, ma'am? Yes, I have completed. Hello, Shabna, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, so my first question is: Have you also done? something like a test or an is there an option for interaction or something in the presentation in the content where you have developed you can tell me if it is there like i'll let me take a look at it yes i have a videos madam not videos i have asked if there is a test or if there is a way people can interact students can interact like you know drop the doubts so that there is something like that have you done a test or the progress of that something like that ma'am i can understand okay forum is there have you done something like a yes, test I, uh, i did it a discussion for yes sir it's there right there right quiz on capital market is that the one yeah yes, okay. I, i just prepared it here. okay okay can you preview the quiz maybe yes ma'am okay okay so i do understand that uh, you know we are all your like sir said you all just started getting used to this but as interactive as it should be that is the way probably to go about moodle and e content and uh, more than one other suggestion is probably more than taking uh, every online video because uh, there may be also the issue of you know uh copyright and things like that probably you know recording our own voices when we get to that would be a good way because uh, in the two presentations what we have seen it's mostly from other websites so that is something which we can look into and uh it would be nice would be if nice. the coming participants also explain the topic not essentially the what it is written over there but uh, so that you know when you're teaching a model this is also a presentation of how you're going to present the model to students right so something like that so the participants from other branches will get to understand ma'am 
Okay. Yes, ma'am. There is there is a uh, concept uh, mapping that we have done. I think uh, everyone should show that uh, in JPEG format. Now first, then ma'am also will understand what is the structure that uh, everyone is following. Right? Yes. The, because that concept map tells what and all we'll be doing uh, in the Moodle. So I think Shabna, ma'am, if you can open that uh, JPEG image, uh, then it will be clear uh, uh, of how you are going to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Shabna ma'am, stop sharing yeah. and uh, open the, uh, double click and open that file, uh, this uh, uh, JPEG file na, that you have created for okay, JPEG sir. or uh, PDF file, whatever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ma'am, can you open that uh, concept mapping file? JPEG file, file or PNG file that you have created? Yes, sir. One moment, sir. Yes, sir. I open it. Now you can explain, ma'am, how you want to go about with your course, right? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, my topic is financial market, and then the financial market meaning the financial system. That is components of financial system, financial institution, financial market, financial instrument, financial services. Then also functions of financial market, it's borrowing and lending, price determination, information, aggregation and coordination, risk sharing, liquidity, efficiency. And the main part of this uh, types uh, is the uh, money market and the capital market. And then meaning of the money market, features, functions, then components. Components of money market is organized money market and un unorganized money market. Then another important thing in this uh, money market organizations, this called money market, commercial bill market, treasury bill market, call and short notice money, certificate of deposit, commercial paper, Then, capital market, its features, functions, classifications. These all things are to be included in my course. Okay, uh, thank you, ma'am. But uh, again, there are a few things. Probably the sequence is something which you can take a look at, but it is much more clearer with this 
uh, so but you know like introduction of financial markets so probably the right sequence would be introducing financial system what is the functions of financial system then coming into because financial market is a subset of the financial system then explaining that then coming into the types of money market and capital market then what are the functions that would be probably the right way even how the content can be structured okay uh, those are the only suggestions from me so thank you okay thank you ma'am i can make changes yes thank you shabna ma'am please stop sharing then Um, um i'll request all participants now first to show the concept map then it will be easier for uh, ma'am to understand uh, what we have done and then maybe showcase the uh, moodle uh, i hope that is okay ma'am aparna ma'am Uh, it would be nice in the interest of all the participants from different because these kind of gatherings is not just for commerce or you know psychology faculty so if you can introduce the topic not teach them everything in 5 minutes but if you can introduce the topic so that there may be some kind of doubt that will come through so kindly take care of that as well all the best ma'am next is uh, dr ratna patel ma'am yes sir please go ahead okay yes thank yes, you mitro audible am i audible sir yes ma'am you are audible but uh, if you can put that jpeg image na then the, it will be more clear because uh, in the site that you have posted the image will be too small for uh, anyone okay. anyone to see right okay. Sir, sorry, sir. I'm not getting that file. Okay, ma'am. Please proceed. Okay, sir. A very good afternoon to one and all. Myself, Dr. Ratna Pad Ratna Padi, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, and today I'm going to present uh, uh, the topic uh, problems of small scale industries. This is a uh, concept map uh, first i have to give the introduction to the small scale industries small scale industries are the backbone of our uh, uh, agricultural country apart from the agriculture small scale and uh, large scale industries are also have been developed in in our country small scale industries uh, are um, produce 
uh, variety of the products uh, which are the non traditional and uh, no technological products and engaged in the uh, processing preserving manufacturing and uh, uh, servicing activities and uh, especially small scale industries plays a very important role in the economic uh, uh, economic growth economic development of the country so a proper development Hello, ma'am. You're not audible. Ratna Patil, ma'am. I think there is some issue with uh, internet connection. Um, probably she will join back. Yes, sir. We can wait for a minute or two, or we can right. proceed to the next person next. and then come back. Okay, okay, ma'am. So can we proceed to the next one? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Venkatram, Venkat Narayan, sir. Yes, sir. I am ready to share my presentation. Please, please go ahead, sir. Okay. Yeah. Please, sir, please, please confirm the... me. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So please confirm my screen is uh, shared or not. So please confirm. confirm uh, yes, yes. Sir. My screen yes, is visible. visible. Yeah. It's okay. Very good afternoon to resource person, Dr. Prana ma'am, and uh, good afternoon to uh, my co uh, participants. And Dr. Ivy Narayana, assistant professor of commerce, uh, Department of Commerce and Commerce, Government Digital Chintal Bodhi, here Railuru from Andhra Pradesh. Yes, my topic is logistics service practices. Is my, it is my main topic and uh, chosen and subtopic is warehousing. So warehousing, uh, we know it is simple understanding that uh, uh, where the goods are kept uh, for safety and, and supply purpose is known as warehousing. So I have created my uh, concept ma uh, mapping like this. So logistics services, so logistics has warehousing and transportation and courier expresses. Okay, I chosen warehousing. In this, uh, have uh, uh, mentioned here meaning the place where goods are kept is called warehousing. So the need of warehousing is like that: seasonal products, seasonal demand, large scale production, and fixed supply, and continuous production and price stabilization. For this, uh, for this, the warehouse is need. There are several types of warehouses. In. Here I mentioned that there are, uh, the types of warehouses are private houses, so private uh, private warehouses and government warehouses. Sorry, uh, sorry here uh, the private warehouses are doubled here. Uh, government warehouses and bonded warehouses and cooperate warehouses. 
so we see the benefits of warehouses is production and preservation of the goods and the regular flow of the goods and uh, convenient location and easy handling useful for small business and creation of employment like this we have uh, the benefits of warehouses in this model i selected uh, these uh, warehousing for four four modules ma'am one is introduction so in general i have given uh, my mind mapping uh, as an introduction and later i have given the uh, text for uh, study purpose and i have mentioned my uh, audio material which is audiocast which is by, prepared by audiocast in this introduction section i have mentioned uh, one video also so this video um, can play but uh, with the low internet it may not be played uh, with your permission i can play ma'am yes sir Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, like this, it is. Uh, it will be played, okay. And then the second section is objective of the course. Uh, in this, uh, in this section, I have mentioned uh, uh, students to give their screenshot for uh, whether they are uh, whether they are uh, uh, action taken or not. For that, I have I have make an assignment that they would be given one screenshot of the. first introduction program okay then and then later uh, in part 2 that is objectives of the uh, this one i have mentioned the objectives of the course so later third part is auto play i have mentioned auto play mode madam that's why it is uh, uh, playing automatically and then the methods of air housing i have mentioned uh, uh, different types of uh, Uh, methods uh, types where you where we discussed in, in mind mapping so in this section also i have mentioned one video and uh, coming to the fourth 1.4 so in this in this section also given the benefits it clearly and given the advantages of warehousing one video and given one uh, quiz with this uh, in this module okay so everywhere i have given one quiz quiz madam and later uh, today uh, by the uh, resource person we are automatically i have uh, parallelly i did one quiz that is um assessment purpose so this is quiz madam uh, okay so like this i have prepared one multiple choice question okay and uh, uh, true or false question so so this is my uh, model presentation thank you thank you sir so this was more a systematic i think probably this is why uh, sir was also asking you all to show that introductory map and how you you're going ahead with the presentations the, all the aspects probably yes. what we are looking for is also been covered so uh, no further questions from me but if any other yeah, participants sure. have anything to add yeah please ask me if you have any work for is i'm glad to tell you madam so looks like nobody has any questions so, so probably you've done a good work, work at what you try doing so we'll go ahead with it to the next candidate sir thank, thank you, you. Thank we'll you. have rena patel ma'am again yes 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 sir yes sir thank you sir yeah please go ahead ma'am for the inconvenience and face the network issues so i completed the introduction part sir can i 
Yeah, ma'am, we can see the presentation, right? Mm. India is predominantly an agricultural country. Apart from agriculture, small-scale and large-scale industries have been also developed. Small-scale industries are the backbone of our industrial structure as they provide a variety of non-traditional, low-technology products. They are also engaged in the processing, preserving, manufacturing and servicing activities and play a very important role in balanced and structurable economic growth. Thus, a proper development of small-scale industry is essential for the healthy growth of economy. The primary object of developing the small-scale this is one audio clipping. Yeah, ma'am, we can hear you. Yes. And uh, then second one is the course objectives. The small scale problems of small scale industries, the course objectives are mainly identifying the problems faced by the small scale industries in marketing of their products. Because the, so many multinational companies are coming uh, into the market so the small scale industries are facing a lot of marketing problems uh, second one is to identify problems faced by the small scale industry in financing uh, and to study the major challenges faced by the SSIs and to study the importance of the SSIs in the Indian economy uh, we also say that the small scale industry is uh, placed like a weapon to solve the economic problems like uh, unemployment and uh, production problems. Uh, so that purpose, to, it is important to study the uh, importance of SSIs in Indian economy and to find the employment opportunities in SSIs. As compared to the large scale industries, small scale industries provide more number of uh, employment opportunity because uh, the small scale industries used uh, based on the uh, manpower or using the la labor power. So that way it creates the more employment opportunities and to study the potential market for SSIs and to understand the government's role in uh, respects of SSI. These all are the course objectives. Then course units, I already explained in the uh, concept mapping. I classified the problems of small scale industries course into the four categories or uh, four units. First one introduction, which includes the uh, meaning, definition, importance, then the problems. Uh, initiatives taken by the government and the suggestion. Then the fourth part is course transaction methodology. In uh, in the course transaction method methodology, we I used the PPTs, audio content, video content, concept maps, and the ebooks. Just uh, I give the uh, link small video. This is the inadequate finance. Many small scale industries face the problem of scarcity of funds. They are not able to access a domestic capital market to raise resources. They are also not able to tap foreign markets by issuing American and financial institutions require various procedures and formalities to be completed. Even after a long delay, the funds are inadequate. Bank credit to the small scale sector is a percentage of total credit. Depend on private money lenders. As a whole, 
cards. Ma'am, your video is not audible. Uh, maybe you can stop it and continue with the presentation. Yes. Next conducting course units. First one importance in the first chapter, the introduction part. I think she is facing internet uh, related issues <laughs> continuously. I think, ma'am, we can move ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, we can go to the next one, sir. Uh, Abdul, Dr. Abdullah Ji, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am ready, sir. Please, please Thank share you, your uh, screen and start presenting. Right. Visible, sir. It is visible. You need to oh, yes. Okay, yeah. We are also power round, so we are basing. So let us introduce myself. I am Dr. Abdul Haji, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce from Chennai. Uh, I thank uh, Dr. Aparna Sanjeev ma'am and all my fellow colleagues. Okay, those those are with me. So uh, this is the first time we are learning uh, this all these things and we are prepared here. I really thank to the Sadhish Kalikar. Now my uh, topic is on uh, uh, human resource development. So I simplify on training and development. Okay, so this is uh, some introduction about training. Uh, here uh, one video I present.
So, uh, the, let's uh, I explain about training. Training is the process of imparting skills or job knowledge to a person and it takes an individual from where he is to where he should be. Okay, so because of the proper training only a person, uh, it is not uh, shown that uh, with, without uh, uh, knowledge the person will come. The person have a lot of knowledge, but for our job, our skill, we have to impart the skills. Okay, and for later, I give some YouTube video links here for introduction. Uh, then uh, I go for concept making. Uh, that is have a separate topic also. So then, uh, uh, what is the importance of training? Okay, so the importance of training are it is improvement in skill and knowledge of an employee. Okay, so the knowledge already have an employee, but here we give the improvement of skills and it gives higher production and productivity and also the job satisfaction okay, on the employee as well as the management. And uh, uh, with the proper training only, he can able to avail the better use of the available resources. And it will reduce in accidents because uh, while training we have the expertise, so we know how to handle the missionaries and all these things what we have arrived on our job. So it definitely reduced and uh, and reduce the suppression also. Okay, apart from that, it will be give reduction in compliance because uh, he is a trained person. So nobody is uh, uh, doesn't have any complaint. Okay, on uh, the, his job. So adaptability, he can adapt uh, easily the new things. Uh, then the scope, uh, the, this is the main point here, yeah, the scope for management by expectation. Because the management spend a lot on the things, uh, on training, uh, on the employees. Then the management somehow expect, okay, from the employee, that uh, he stands for that and the stability and where he should be. The, the next topic is concept mapping on training. So this is my concept map of entire training, okay, what I am going to do. So this is a plan, what I am scheduled it. Uh, first is training, then meaning of training, then uh, I give importance of training, then process, then the methods of training. So my highlight is on methods of training only. Okay. So I am going for that next, okay. Methods. So here for a concept, I added on audio also, I play this also for you. Okay, so after uh, this uh, introduction, then I am going for the process of training. Okay, here, what are the tools they are giving on process? Okay, so the identifying the training needs of the stock. Okay, then establishment of training goals, selecting the right method of training. Okay, so uh, right method of training will be the important one because uh, unnecessarily unwanted things we are not doing. Okay, so what job related matters we are adding here? Then make uh, making an evaluation of training effectiveness. Uh, then uh, next segment I am uh, going for types of training. Uh, here I add another my own video. Okay, for the benefits of the my students, I play that one also. Okay, so then the methods uh, on the theoretical form. Okay, so the methods here on the job and uh, off the job, I put a certificate. Then uh, uh, go for the on the job training. So here are some highlighted points. Here. That, uh, uh, induction training, apprenticeship training, refresher training, job rotation, placement of resistant, and vestibule training. These are the six uh, points on the on the job training. Uh, each and everything will be detailed. Okay, given 
for the benefit of students because uh, later on I am going to conduct some test uh, or uh, assignments for the students. For that purpose, I give the detailed notes. Uh, for our reference, I uh, explain any one uh, training, okay, especially related to us, the refresher training. Okay, so the object of refresher training is to enable the workers to constantly update their job. The knowledge and skill of the worker in our business establishment tends to become outdated due to the advancement in science and technology. So the worker therefore need to update their skills, failing which they will not be abandoned or updated. They must become familiar with newer methods of work. So that is what we are rightly introduced. Okay, what we are inducing in our refresher training. We are learning so many new methods of uh, teaching because clearly after the pandemic only we came to know what is uh, uh, e-learning. Okay, so only Google Classroom and that only. We thought that this is a uh, highly skilled. But after the start this refresher course, we know. So what is model? So what uh, yesterday uh, some of the resource persons will give so many websites. We are really, really stunned on this. So the, there is a huge number of websites, huge uh, updations are there on ODL, Neri, ODI, OER scheme. So lots, lot of things are here. So all these things will be given here. So job rotation is there. So the same person will be on, uh, for example, I take a uh, bank employee. I will explain this point also. This kind of training enables an employee to become well versed in different kinds of work. Each of which is not totally different. For example, in a bank, the employee is made to serve in different sections like savings section, current account section, FD account section, cash and so on. Okay, this enables him to become versatile as far as the bank job is concerned. Suppose if one employee will be absent or one seat will be vacant, see he can able to fulfill. The job will not be stopped at anywhere. Okay, so these are the types of on-the-job training. Then I am uh, going for the off-the-job training. Okay, so one detailed chart, then again, uh, what are the office of training, lecturer and conferences, uh, then uh, role playing, um, case studies, uh, okay, and uh, management games. So management games will give uh, the persons to know the other fellow uh, staff in the uh, organization. Then sensitivity training example. Okay, at the last, what are the benefits or what he gets from the training? Okay, that will be as a conclude I give here. The training benefits to employee, it increases the efficiency of an employee and it reduces supervision, okay, less amount of wastage, okay, and helps a new employee in the organization, better labor management relations, at, uh, the main thing is the self-confidence of employee will be increased and increase in motivation levels. Then I added some quizzes also. Okay, that's all my presentation, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Okay, sir. So, it has been more interactive, I believe, you know, with, uh, I think, the presence of the teacher being there throughout the videos, that kind of helps people to connect. So, very well done there, sir. So, we'll go on to the next one, if others do not have any doubt or any clarification. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Dr. Naina, ma'am. Yes, sir. Abdul sir, can you stop sharing then? Ah, yes, yes sir. Thank you. Nana, we can start. Yes, yes sir, yes. I'll start. One second, sir. I'll... I can't be able to share this. Sir, is it sharing, sir? Is yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, good afternoon. Uh, myself, Nayana, assistant professor in working in government first grade college, Badavanali, Karnataka. So, 
in today's uh, topic i am selected is green marketing so my i i used to develop the course on the green marketing first one first thing is so i i used to put the overview of the course so as you all know the green marketing it is very very important in the recent uh, days so and it is a need of the hour also so the this uh, so the, that is the reason i used to select this this topic so the co this course is designed to understand the importance of green marketing on consumer satisfaction and environment safety so you all heard about the green revolution going green environmental protection and sustainable uh, uh, development so you all going to listen these type of words so in this regard so this green uh, marketing is very very uh, important thing so coming to the meaning is, or uh, sorry before going to the meaning so consume uh, this course what what is the objective of this course L let's see so the course objectives so on completion of this module you will be able to selling the products and services based on their environmental benefits adopting sustainable business practice creating eco friendly products implementing eco friendly packaging communicating environmental benefits of the product so so uh, for this uh, objectives we are going to uh, i used to develop this course so next uh, one is so in this overview only so i added some uh, discussion also discussion forum also so you can see here so this is important so whether uh, the green marketing is the need of the hour or uh, something like i i used to add it so after this next move on to the next in this so this entire course is divided into five units or five modules so it's five chapters so under under this first chapter is uh, introduction to green marketing so in this introduction to green marketing uh, uh, gives the uh, the chapters over over history of the green marketing and also the meaning and also the definition and why this green marketing is very very necessary in the ma'am your voice is breaking then mm. uh of uh, uh, recent thing so this uh, not audible and no audible uh, on your so uh, yeah yeah network problems there okay sir so i used to have this as assessment also so here you can see this uh, quiz 
So you, you can see this preview quiz. So one was the first workshop held on uh, green marketing. So I have given the time also. So this is where this is how we, I used to make an assessment for the first, chap, first chapter. Next, move on to the next chapter, uh, unit two. So unit two says about the golden laws of. Uh, We need to say about the golden laws of uh, green marketing. So in this, uh, the important golden laws of green marketing are can customers should be aware of that, uh, uh, that uh, environmental uh, regarding the environmental safety and eco-friendly. So and this reassure the buyers. So transparency and then customer participation and consider they also consider the prices also from the price point of view. So next topic is importance of green marketing so i used to added the advantages of green marketing like uh, environmental advantages and economic advantages sustainability efficient use of resources plant techniques and consumer attraction and also the innovation competitive advantage so some and i also used to add it some examples of uh, green marketing like uh, various uh, companies used to uh, adopt this green marketing like Maruti Suzuki uh, and then uh, Bharat Petroleum, Hindustan Petroleum, PNG, ITC, and all these things. So for this chapter, I used to add the study material and also quiz. So I, uh, due to the time limitation, I can't able to add this uh, video. So and the next move on to the next chapter. Third chapter is elements of green marketing. So in this elements of green marketing, we used to study as like. Uh, uh, marketing mix elements like a product price for piece of that uh, marketing mix. So in the same manner, green marketing mix also has the same uh, uh, four piece: green products, green price, green place, and green promotion. So it uh, from the point of view of uh, environmental preservation. So we used to define so the green product, the green price, and the green place, and the green promotion. So so that we are going to study in this chapter. So after that, that study material is added and also there is one uh, video will be added, uh, uh, one link will be provided to this uh, chapter and also the assessment will be made for this chapter. So in coming to the fourth chapter, so role of information technology in green marketing. So this is a uh, very, very important chapter which I used to include it here. So role of information technology as we are going to, uh, as we are in the IT age, so this is very, very important, I think so. So green marketing, the role of information technology, some in that uh, what and all the possible ways to reduce the uh, uh, you know, environmental harmfulness that will be used to going, uh, we going to discuss in this chapter. So like uh, reducing the power consumption, uh, like uh, green data centers, actually, that is a, so it is a different one, which is actually the green data center is there. So it, it means one uh, in which the mechanical lighting, electrical and computer systems are designed for maximum energy efficiency and minimum environmental impact. So that green data center will be included in this chapter. And then uh, so for that, uh, some examples will be provided. So and the, coming to the next topic, attributes of the green consumers. So what drives environmentally conscious consumer behavior? Why we, why the consumer are go, go on to this um, uh, eco-friendly uh, behavior? So that I uh, include in this chapter. So for this uh, fourth chapter, I used to uh, put some study material and also uh, assessment. So in the last chapter is uh, trends in green marketing. So recent trends in green marketing. So what and all the uh, you know, present trends which are going to be happened in the recent days. So under under that we used to see the green warming uh, that is going green uh, terminologies and then green terminology, green product, green service, green washing. So so that we are, we we are, we are going to study this in this uh, topic. 
So, and the last uh, uh, last topic in this is adoption of green marketing. So, uh, why this green marketing is adopted by the firms? There are five reasons for adoption of green marketing by the firms. Uh, so, those reasons are opportunities, government pressure. Uh, competitive pressure, social responsibility, and cost uh, or profit issues. So these are all the things for reasons. And the last topic in uh, you started is challenges. Challenges of green marketing. So we, what are the challenges which uh, we used to face while implementing this green marketing? So that is the need for standardization, new concept. It is a new concept. Patience and perseverance and avoiding the green myopia. So these are all the things which are going to added in the fifth chapter. So fifth, in this chapter also, I will give the study material and also the assessment part. So I can't able to do the videos. So and also in the last thing is uh, references. I used to give the references where I got this uh, uh, resources. Thank you, ma'am. If you have any. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Naina ma'am, it's a very comprehensive explanation. I believe all of us have also gotten, you know, an idea of what will be the content and that's probably the expectation. So good work. Uh, no other additions or suggestions from me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can stop presenting then. Uh, okay. Shall so we go to the next one? Let me... Yes, sir. We can go to the next one. Yes. Perfect. Ramesh sir, are you there? Yes, sir. I am here. Shall yeah, I please, please, uh, please share your presentation. Uh, sir, can you see my presentation? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, myself, Ramesh Kake, uh, Assistant Professor, Government College of Manandavadi, uh, Vainash, uh, Kerala. Uh, Sir, so I am uh, going to present my e content topic that is about uh, e banking, e banking services. Therefore, I had uh, three chapters. And first, uh, first of all, I, uh, I have given some explanation relating to the course about the course, um, what is the peculiar feature of this course and uh, duration, then objectives I laid down here. On the basis of this one, I uh, developed a uh, concept mapping, e-banking facilities, uh, then e-banking e features here, and the context of changes, on what are the context of uh, changes has been, that has been taken place in the area of uh, banking scenario. A lot of changes, drastic changes has been taken place, uh, technological advancement, then globalization of economy and then emergence of new generation bank. Uh, and um, uh, there are a lot of uh, e-banking facilities, uh, that is types, types, ATM, debit card, credit card, then electronic check, uh, electronic fund transfer system, In electronic fund transfer there is two categories, um, uh, that is national, uh, RTG, real-time growth settlement system, then immediate payments so like that the other the, the, the types then another the practical difficulties even we are uh, we are doing the bank uh, services apart from the traditional by traditional bank if you are uh, going to the bank branch directly and approach the bank counter and and uh, we, uh, we, we will have the uh, banking facilities uh, in um, the banking facilities also there is a practical difficulties the access problem the lack of infrastructure facilities like internet connection um, and then um, security problems are there some kind of hacking uh, spoofing like a lot, uh, the, the lot of uh, problems uh, they are going to face and uh, therefore by um, concept mapping and based on this concept mapping i have given a short video about this course here an odd video this audio uh, Is it audible? Yes, it is audible. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. At the same time, it is not safe from 
Now that is a bar by audio, then and uh, to know um, and to make an interaction with um, the students on uh, announcement is uh, announcement I started here to start a uh, uh, that, is, that is for importance of e banking services in modern banking scenario that is uh, that is to interact with the people I uh, discussion uh, started here. That is about um, uh, my about the course uh, process. Then uh, next to the area is overview of e banking services. I, and here I given the uh, details of this one. Introduction, a brief introduction about uh, e banking. E banking is a facility that we are available. I already told you uh, the facilities available at home. Uh, we can access the banking facilities. Uh, while sitting in our home, uh, there are opening accounts and uh, product, financial product information, fund transfer, uh, then other, other kind of facilities we can available by sitting here at home. Then e-banking e features uh, that has laid down, laid down here, dimensions of e-banking. And um, a comparison is made between traditional banking and e-banking. Uh, some kind of uh, features are for e-banking facilities, apart from traditional banking uh, that we are using here and uh, uh, to make more uh, more attractive and uh, a, a page is given here in the wikipedia pages online mark uh, online bank and e-banking uh, the concept to realize uh, what are the concept uh, what are the uh, things that you have to uh, grasp uh, as far as concerned with e-banking uh, there is a link for that okay and uh, based on based on this one, the, uh, I given uh, what is an assignment. Compare traditional and banking services. Keep a big, big explanation with uh, each point of uh, the traditional bank and e banking facilities. Then next uh, chapter that is our di uh, different modes of e banking facilities in the ATM. Uh, all of them using the ATM account days and withdrawing money and depositing money at the same, same time. And there are uh, cash deposit machines are the CDM CDMs are there uh, to deposit uh, cash into the bank. And at the same time, we can withdraw the money for, by using the machine. Another facility is credit card facility uh, that is given by bank uh, through, uh, through internet. Credit bank, uh, credit card. Uh, apart from the debit card facilities, you know, uh, credit, uh, credit card facility, uh, a customer can withdraw or uh, their deposit uh, that is allowed by the bank. And another time is used to debit card. We can withdraw the money up to our deposit amount. Another one is mobile banking by um, installing the apps. We can transfer. We can check. Uh, we can schedule our payments. We are make a lot of pay, uh, bills payment by using the mobile banking facility facility then other one is uh, electronic fund transfer system eft electronic fund uh, electronically we can transfer fund from uh, our account to another account and uh, we can use the, 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 that for several purposes uh, that electronic fund transfer is there another one is e-check uh, we are using the traditional check we are going a uh, traditional check and present it to the bank counter and it uh, uh, takes uh, several uh, time for so, so many times to clear it but in e-check, we can process the e-check uh, within a short period. That kind of facility is available. And some of the facilities are um, like uh, RTGS and IMPS, that is immediate payment system and real-time close settlement system is there. I want to know this, uh, this kind of this kind of things is given, not given the above uh, text. I given uh, it's a video and uh, an, uh, given an assignment based on this uh, uh, video you press uh, you prepare a report on the uh, inept uh, then rtgs mps and uh, uh, to one piece is uh, um, there to interact with the uh, okay i i have to, uh, which one of uh, one of these is type of e-banking facilities and another another one is two or false question another one is a short answer 
uh, to explain the features of IMP. So that, that kind of things are uh, given here in, the, in, the, in this chapter. Another, another next chapter is e-banking application. E-banking application, advantages of e-banks, benefit to the bank. And uh, I given that um, things in the text only points are given here to reduce cost like that. There are a lot, lot of facilities are available to the bank by using this kind of system and uh, to, to the customer. Customer can sit, merely sit in the house and, uh, and can avail uh, the facilities, savings time, like uh, more convenience, more customer satisfaction like, like that. Uh, then benefit to the trade is also. I mean, they, they can make the trading, uh, trading activities uh, with the cash payments, uh, payment system, they, they, they can use it, then benefit to the government, government as well. Then another another area is where we have discussed here is the limitation of e-banking. E e-banking is not free from any kind of limitation. There is also some kind of limitation for that high infrastructure process there, then lack of awareness among the general public about uh, e-banking, how to avail the e-banking process, what are the requirements for that. That, that is not uh, aware all, all of the general public, and then uh, uh, cyber attack is there, the malware, then uh, hacking, a lot of problems they are facing. And um, to, to, uh, to overcome this kind of uh, problems and security issue, uh, we had some uh, we, we had some measures to how to overcome this kind of security issue uh, that is dedicated uh, to a video in this uh, chapter i also given some assignment identify various threats in e-banking services based on the uh, that what are the measures to overcome this one that is given here and here also set one uh, three question three types of question one uh, multiple choice question, then true, uh, true or false question, and the uh, short answer question. That is about my presentation. Ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes. So, uh, sir, like I said for the previous one, I do not have any questions because your presentation also probably covered all aspects and there was a quiz there was an assignment so to my understanding it looks good what about the other candidates if you have any opinion or any suggestions based on your lecture thank you ma'am thank you sir anybody if you have anything to add ma'am i think uh, the uh, headings um, uh, the uh, somewhere uh, you'll find numeral number one is given Instead of that their headings should be given what it is, maybe quiz or uh, uh, assignment or something like then it will be easier for uh, people to understand. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. I, I have to edit that one. Right, right, sir. Right. I make it to, to all this one. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Shall we move to the next, ma'am? Yes. Dhanya, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'll yes. Please, please share your presentation. Okay, sir. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. uh, good afternoon, one and all. Uh, respected evaluator and other fellow participants of Refresher course. Uh, uh, myself, Dr. Thanya from Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambu. And uh, I have uh, selected a course uh, on product life cycle, which is a very simple but very relevant topic in marketing management, which will be uh, in the curriculum of BCom, BBA, MCom, MBA students. And this is a very small topic and easy to understand also. Now I have aligned the Moodle course, like uh, my Moodle site name is thanyakaml.gnomeo.com. And uh, in the course, I have started with important announcements, uh, like I have added a discussion forum uh, in the Moodle, 
and in the discussion forum the students can put certain some of their doubts and uh, also i have put uh, an assignment which will be open today 24th and the due date is 28th and uh, also i have assigned uh, quiz uh, and also the uh, a google sheet for collecting the data for the certificates these are the important announcements for the uh, students now coming to the uh, background of the study uh, actually this is a, a continuation of the product management uh, uh, module which is the previous module so what i have done is in the background of the study i have included a uh, ppt which relates to the product management if we just click on this ppt uh, i mean click on that link so the ppt will be downloaded and the students can uh, refer this ppt which is related to the uh, previous session so this is actually a background of the study which uh, codes which are we are going to learn today now this is the concept map and this is a video which i have tried uh, using the uh, tool which has been taught by Ramesh sir today, that is the uh, a video which I have developed with uh, the permission of the evaluator. I will just play it. Can you hear this? I mean, audio is not there, but. Oh. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ma I think if you increase the volume, can you try increasing the volume? were in the in my laptop my laptop please ma'am I, I think uh not sure about the reason but you can go ahead uh -huh. okay fine actually i tried it today afternoon only uh i don't know why the audio is not coming so this is the uh, concept map uh, related to my course and about this course as I told it is a uh, part of the marketing management subject and which will be useful for become BBE students and here is a course plan also uh, this also I have added uh, um, a video to this uh, explaining the course plan what is the course introduction like that So this is a video related to the uh, course structure. What are the units and uh, what are the subsections which I have added to this uh, Moodle course. And I have also uh, put the concept map in the uh, Google Drive and the link is being shared here. Uh, so if we click to the link, it will go to the uh, concept map. So here is it, product lifecycle. And uh, I have divided it to different subsections like meaning and definition and stages of PLC. And what are the utility of PLC and what are the strategies to be adopted at different stages of PLC? Like there are four stages, introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. Under each of these stages, uh, the company should adopt certain strategies uh, to go along with their product. So these strategies can also be divided into related to product strategies, promotion strategies, pricing strategies, etc. So uh, this is about the uh, concept map and uh, now coming back to the uh, after the concept map and the course plan. Uh, and next is uh, the course objective. According to the Bloom's taxonomy, I have formulated the course objective. And the students will be able to understand various concepts and they can describe it with uh, suitable examples. And they can also evaluate the products which are available in the market with uh, special reference to at what stage they are at present. 
and they can demonstrate uh, suitable examples also in relation to PLC. Now, there are five different units here, of which first one is the introduction to PLC. And also, I have uh, added the objectives uh, or the subsections related to the units. And this is an introductory video which I have done uh, related to this course, which also tells about the uh, course details. And coming to what is PLC, as you all know, the lifespan of a product is explained here. Every human being uh, go through different lifespan like birth, childhood, youth, and the, their death. In the same way, for product also, there are four different stages. But uh, the span of the uh, uh, span may be different for different products, but they will go through different stages. And it is known as that journey is known as the product life cycle. So uh, here uh, I have also created a video using the uh, Genial, which is an app which was taught yesterday or day before yesterday. I don't remember. I have just made a try. Uh, I don't know whether the voice will come or it will work. Uh, this is just I have made a, a video on the uh, product life cycle and the stages of growth, which shows the different stages of the growth in the uh, product life cycle. Uh, so that is also uh, added to my course. Now, uh, after this, this. Uh, Subsection tells about the concept of product life cycle. There are different products in the market with a different lifespan and the strategy a company should follow always change with the life stage of a product. So these are some of the products, images of some of the products that are having different lifespan. Now this tells the definition of the PLC. So it clearly tells length of the time for a product first being introduced to the consumers until it is remo removed from the market. That length of time is known as the uh, product life cycle. Now, after the first unit, I have added a discussion forum uh, for uh, assessing what the students have uh, come to know about this unit. So that is a discussion forum added to these, an exercise which is given to the students after the first unit. Now, coming to the second unit, it uh, details tells about the stages of product life cycle. As I mentioned, there are four different stages of product life cycle, which I have uh, explained in this uh, uh, tool. That is a book which uh, which a uh, text is given related to the four different stages. That is introduction stage, growth stage, maturity stage. What is the feature of each stages? Like introduction stage, as you all know. The sales will be starting only, and hence the cost for the company will be very high. Customers will be unaware of the product, and we have to go for heavy advertisement during the stage. Likewise, each stage, what are the main features have been uh, added here as a uh, book page. Now, the second part of uh, unit uh, two tells about a YouTube video. This is uh, my my YouTube video, or which relates to the stages of uh, uh, product life cycle due to the shortage of time. I'm not playing it. Now, I have also added a reference for the extra reading, which relates to the uh, product life cycle. This is the link for the open resource related to what is product life cycle, what is its definition, and what are the uh, example. So students can also go for this um, extra reading, which will be very useful for them to gain extra knowledge. So that is about uh, unit two. And uh, now in the unit three, what I have done is marketing strategies. It tells about the what are the strategies to be adopted by the company uh, under these four stages, like introduction stage, what are the strategies? Then uh, growth stage what are the strategies to be adopted a decline stage what are the strategies and at maturity stage what are the strategies so i have added certain audios to these things and uh, this was also taught in the refresher course that is audacity tool has been used and the same has been uploaded in audio.com and for each stages like uh, marketing strategy and introduction stage uh, 
growth stage, maturity stage, decline stage. Four separate audios are uploaded here. Here also I have added a reference material which relates to a web resource. Now coming to the fourth and the most important one, that is the practical application of PLC, which requires more discussions type. So what I have done is I have created a chat room that is in big blue button that was also taught in the refresher course. Uh, again, I have tried for it. So uh, it, it students uh, can also join to this big uh, blue button room and can have uh, like Google Meet, we can have a, a live session on this. So the link I have shared here for the students to enter into the room. And after that, as an exercise, I have added a chat uh, a chat portion for this unit. Now, the, this is the last unit which tells about the conclusion. And here are the stage and the graphical representation where there is sales and time as the time passes and the, what is happening to the uh, sales. Uh, it is increasing and later at the decline stage, it gets uh, declined. So that is the conclusion. And uh, I have also added some of the important questions for the students to refer on this uh, particular topic, or like define PLC, what are the stages and illustrate with examples, what does the strategy of price skimming and when a company should adopt this uh, price skimming because the students should have a clear knowledge on all these uh, aspects. So that is also an exercise which uh, I have added to this uh, last module. And uh, one more thing is uh, a model question paper is also added. It is added in, like a file, a model question paper of marketing management. And these are the references which I have added, uh, uh, citations so that uh, students can also refer all these things for uh, their future references. So uh, this is what I have done. Still, I think I have to work more on the more on, more on this. Uh, anyway, that's all about my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You've cho chosen a very interesting topic also because it's very applicable for everyone who is getting into marketing. So, and yes. you've used probably all the tools, which including the interactive video, and I think that is the most commonly seen Moodle tool which you get to see the video with the instructor's face there uh, so uh, very okay. impressive to see all of I do not have anything more to add because you've gone through all details so thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma thank you so much we'll go on to the next uh, participant uh, Dr. Rajeshwari ma'am mm -hmm. Dr. Rajeshwari. Hi, sir. Please yes. share your screen and start. Um, we can't hear you.
I think there is some network issue. Here. So she's left the session. So we can go to the next person. In the meantime, if she joins, we can take it up. Ma'am, uh, this is the last presentation today because the next person, uh, yes. uh, I think, uh, uh, Jamna Devi, ma'am, has requested to present tomorrow because her uh, internet is also uh, fluctuating too much, right? And okay, uh, she is okay. not able to open up the browser, right? Okay, so in that case, we can wait for five minutes, sir. Otherwise, right. probably Rajeshwari, ma'am, will also have to present tomorrow. Okay, okay, ma'am. Right. We'll wait. Not an issue. So one small request, uh, Govinda Guti said it would be nice if you can prompt all these participants to submit uh, their presentation uh, as in the link in the Google form. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we have already circulated the Google form. Okay. Uh, so uh, they will be submitting it today by today evening. Right? So, yeah, especially, uh, these, eight, right especially these eight candidates. So that right, huh? I can complete the evaluation process. That's why. Okay. 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 Thank you. Right now. Right. I'll ask Kevin to uh, circulate these uh, eight, eight candidates' links to you. Right. Uh, today evening itself. Yes, I have access to the Google form. So if they submit okay. by evening, I'll be able to take a look at it. That's why. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Uh, because other candidates are also submitting uh, into that only. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. So, uh, in the meantime, um, let's uh, probably, uh, I, I, I'm not coming on video because I, I'm also from the phone network. So, that uh, okay. that's why I do not want to come on video and uh, probably disrupt my network. So, but uh, to my understanding, what I've seen is all of you have access to a lot of tools right now. Uh, it would be great if you also start using these tools to have interactive MOOC sessions and um, you know uh, create content so that because one of the uh, in one recent conversation uh, in the university that has happened uh, a very eminent person said teachers are becoming redundant and uh, teachers will be discarded by the roadsides even a you know a, wa a waste picker won't want us that is how redundant we are becoming. That is what somebody recently said. And I believe all of these tools and ways of connecting to students globally uh, is one way where we can prove that we are still not redundant. We are very useful. And I've seen a starting step from all of you all. Uh, so just wishing you all the best for you know progressing in this same channel, not just considering it as a refresher course. I hope all of you will take it in the right sense and we all can move forward together. So um, all the very best. And uh, that's it from my side. Thank you. Ma'am, you're from uh, Calcutta University itself? Yes. Uh, so let me just do. Uh, yeah. So I am uh, an assistant professor in the Department of Commerce and Management Studies. Um, so I've been associated with HRDC for the last two years in various, uh, you know, roles like uh, as an evaluator for them. And also uh, we, I had organized a program for development studies. I was the organizer the previous year. So I've been constantly in touch with HRDC. So it's always a pleasure to come back and interact with participants. Oh, great, ma'am. Right. Uh... Uh, Rajeshwari ma'am is uh, having a lot of trouble, I think. She has uh, uh, sent me a text saying that uh, no, she's unable to connect. Uh, so maybe we'll take it up uh, tomorrow uh, when the other candidates are also doing the evaluation. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, ma'am, last yes. nine, I think nine days, we have been bombarded with uh, lots of tools. 
right um, lots of uh, new information <laughs> lots of uh, uh, you know ways to uh, present this the you know pedagogical part the curriculum part etc so uh, maybe it will take some time because uh, you know, we are in this tight schedule of this particular course now so maybe once uh, we are out of this maybe we'll be able to do more you know uh, slowly practice this and make it happen so <laughs> It'll, it'll absolutely take time. sir yeah yeah i understand uh, you know it's also year ending and you're all away mm -hmm. for two weeks from your respective uh, organizations and the, and people from various universities and i think uh, you know mm -hmm. it's very nice to see a crowd like this because there are people from karnataka there are people from tamil nadu or uh, you know andhra and i have not seen the the entire list of people but i understand so that mixing up all of those things are happening uh, but uh, mm -hmm. like you said we should not leave it behind once the course is over uh, that should be the goal probably when we look at uh, these kind of courses especially uh, when we are talking about online pedagogy and uh, it's it's been great pleasure to see what uh, all we are we will be able to do in the future so thank you so anyone else who wants to say something or uh, ask madam something right any questions etc nothing sir it is very uh, very much uh, interactive very much uh, helpful section for us really i thank you that is the calicat where they are finding the resources and we don't know really they are all uh, very gem of the under uh, topics they are all better only we have a time limit uh, there is only problem otherwise uh, we are learn much more things what uh, already we learned but uh, there is so many things what you don't know so many websites so many links we are learned uh, only few of them like model worker screen and you know me okay free plan this all some of the things we remain and uh, everything will be in return in notes anyone else so definitely yeah, after this course we definitely we go through all the sites if uh, help needed definitely we call all the resource person and our colleagues also uh, this uh, platform what is the hdc calicum you that really want i really thank to uh hai sadhisya sulas avarkali sir thank you anyone else who wants to share something or uh, will conclude sir so we can conclude i think the feedback should go to probably shivdas sir sir and you know where it is actually due to sabu sir and shivdas sir sir so it's been great pleasure to you know probably uh, meet you all here and uh, we, maybe in physical presence also we'll get to meet at another time so all the best to everyone thank right. you um, ma'am on behalf of um, hrdc calicut university and um, uh, all the participants i express my sincere thanks to you uh, for evaluating the uh, course presentations um, and uh, providing us uh, some of uh, the very good suggestions to improve it thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you so we'll conclude today's session and uh, uh, i hope all of you have uh, uh, gone through the whatsapp uh, group uh, uh, i think ebin has posted two lists please uh, confirm your names uh, if it is there in both the lists right uh, uh, this is uh, to ensure that uh, you have made the payment uh, uh, for uh, the course etc your uh, you know uh, all the documents etc have been given right please check that uh, that is very important Uh, otherwise uh, you will not be receiving your certificates and all so <laughs> he has very clearly sir, uh, mentioned it there uh, sir, right sir, so going to sir uh, sir the you list please. already our names are there uh, so if both again, list it is there it is okay uh, otherwise you contact ebin uh, uh, no no that, uh, again the links are given again we have to fill or not no if it is there i don't think you have to fill right okay, um, that's fine. Uh, clear that's instructions fine. are there sir on the okay uh, i i think there okay thank you sir okay. okay and uh, please post your links especially um, uh, as you heard ma'am right uh, all the eight candidates who have presented today right please uh, share their uh, uh, moodle link uh, today itself moodle google drive link today itself right so that uh, 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 ma'am can evaluate and complete the uh, process so uh, shall we conclude for today going good sir yes i i already sent the um, google form okay please check it out yeah it is there it does not come to me sir it goes uh, to uh, hrdc i am okay, not uh, doing anything okay, okay. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> I don't get access to any of these things. <laughs> I'm just uh, coordinating between you and HRDC. That's it. Oh, okay, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sir. Yes. Uh, regarding that uh, Moodle forum uh, link generation, uh, sir. Uh, sir, regarding? Hmm? We have to share the link of the Moodle. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, before send, uh, sharing that link of the Moodle, we have to make that Moodle as the user, guest user now. That yes. option I'm finding difficulty, sir. Uh, no, it is just, I think uh, uh, you might have hidden it. You have to make it uh, show. That's it. Um, uh, I think if you Whether post it, uh, no, post your question, Rakesh sir will tell you <laughs> how to do it. I think I have also shut down my uh, this thing. One minute, sir. Let me see if mine is on open. Right. Uh, no, it's under site administration. Yes, just hold on, sir. Let me see if my this is open. I'll uh, share and tell you. Right. Sir, uh, Bhupati, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, that thing you have to go through participants. Okay, you just uh, go to my course. Okay. Uh, and, I, uh, okay. Under, yes, sir. Okay, and there you will find participants. Okay. No, 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 not there, sir. Uh, I, I'll just, I'm just sharing my screen. I'll tell you. Yes, sir. Sir, first, I hope you can see my screen. Yes, sir. We're getting, getting. Yes, sir. So this is uh, uh, the first thing that you need to do to ensure that it is uh, visible, right? Uh, you need to go to this setting, right? This is within the course, right? The, there is this course uh, participant, etc. Go to this setting. Mm. Right. Go to go to go to appearance. I think go to appearance. No, not appearance. Uh, somewhere not here it is there. Mm. Somewhere there, there is a hide button, I think, right? I also forgot where it is. <laughs> Otherwise, yes, Abdul Haji, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Uh, what you are uh, from setting from setting course set, uh, setting. setting that participant oh, is there. Please, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. sir, this is the that is show show show. I I, I got it. Yeah, yeah. This this. Sir, shall I now press course, course course visibility course visibility course visibility. Yes, where course visibility. You have to make it show. Where is, where is it? Sir? It's not getting. <laughs> Yeah, where is it where is it sir course visibility you below course visible. category below course category below course category i'll stop sharing someone else is saying that you hear me can someone share please how we go for growth visibility Someone please share and uh, uh, that will be really good. Mm -hmm. uh, Conversion of PDF and uh, HTML we know. And they're taking link, uh, I don't know. Sir. Suman sir? Uh, okay, okay, sir. I'm right now mobile. I would like to join through laptop. Then I'll show it. I'm yes, showing sir. it. Sir? Just a minute. Uh, so for course visibility, I think uh, we need to go to settings and yes. uh, under settings, you have the option of uh, course visibility. Ah, yes, here within that general and, tab, within that general yeah, tab, it is there. Mm -hmm. General tab, it is there. There yeah, yeah, only right, you can right. make the change. I'll just, I'll just share and tell you, sir. Just hold on. Yeah. Sir? Good sir? Yes, ma'am, I'm hearing. Please tell. Sir, uh, now I present? No, no, no. no. It is, tomorrow, ma'am. Tomorrow, ma tomorrow, ma right. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, okay. 
Sir, can you see this? One minute, sir. Uh, now, can you see this? This course settings. Yes, sir. Course settings. Uh, course uh, settings. You can see the general tab. General tab. Ah, general tab, yes, sir. Yeah. In that, you can see course visibility. Yes, sir. Course visibility. Hide and what show. What is written there? Uh, there are options. Hide and show. Ah, so you, you make it show. Okay, sir. Right. Make it show. I hope you have added guest participant. Right. If that is uh, under site administration, ah. Huh? Ah, that is under guest participant. You have to add under site administration. One second, that also will take it. I that add. site ad site administration you can open. Go to users. Site administration you users. Users Plus, then uh, add new user. Uh, Accounts. Where is that? Permissions. Uh, yes, somewhere. User management. User management. Huh? So if you go to browse list of users, you can see here. Right. So here you make it uh, uh, this one. It should be visible, I think. Uh, uh, one minute. Site administration. What is that guy? It's under permission or add a new user. Huh? No, no, no. Uh, let me see, sir. I just uh, uh, even I forgot. <laughs> it is you need to keep practicing, <laughs> sir. Uh, how we share the link, sir? So uh, PDF of these two things we can. Ma'am told uh, the Google link has to share. No? What is it? Not Google link, sir. This link. Ah, ah. browser link. Okay, that we have to copy and paste, sir. Right. Uh, copy and paste in the uh, Google form. Google form. But before that, there is some arrangement. There is some. The settings is confirmed. Yeah, the show I already showed to hide it. Uh, Sorry, sir. Uh, sir, here you have to do right. You have to go to uh, participants, then uh, enrollment method, right? Wow. Enrollment method, then guest users, and uh, make this active. Enable this. It might be disabled. Just click there. You will know whether it is enabled. Yes, or in, not. in my courses, there is option uh, participant. No, uh, my my courses, my courses itself. Participants. participants enroll users right huh? participants ah. then go to uh, participants uh, drop down this one and en uh, enroll you select this en enrollment method click on that enroll sorry uh, no need to click on that right so enroll users you will find this one comes in right. one minute enrollment method click on that it will come i think Came just now. 
I don't know where it ran away. Ah, yes. Just select that automatically, it will open. No need to click enroll users. You just need but, to select this automatically. But match any, none, all. Uh, right. So all this guest, uh, guest users, now see guest users. You have that guest users? No, one minute, sir. Uh, enrollment method. No, just select that any, enrollment uh, method and leave it. Mm -hmm. So here, when you, when you click on participation tab, you will see this uh, uh, enroll users kind of a tab, right? Yes, sir. All right, just select, go here, uh, click on this uh, drop down, just select enrollment method and wait. Right? Don't do anything, just wait. Just select that and wait. Automatically, this will come. Got it, sir? Not not coming, sir. Participants, there is one. Participants, just yes, select participants. Yeah. On top, you have this. Yes, and sir. Enroll users, yes. right? Ah. Right, just drop down that, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Now only getting, sir. Ah, A manual enrollment, down. guest access. Ah, just select ah. enrollment method. Yeah, select uh, that. Enrollment, method, enrollment under the, method and just leave it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Option is coming here. Uh -huh. That I symbol is there now. That I symbol is to be enabled. No, no. Just first you select this enrollment method, sir. Automatically this page will open up. What you are seeing on on your screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This page uh, is coming. Then you I I you just take the cursor on the I. You'll find I uh, either it is uh, if it is enabled, it will show disable it. If it is disabled, it will show enable it. Mm -hmm. right now mine is enabled that is why it is showing disabled so i will be open otherwise there will be a line across the eye yes sir that is close okay. to the eye okay that's it mm -hmm. okay sir oh, got it. Right. and uh, one more thing when uh, everyone is presenting now you can keep the edit mode off then it will be easier for everyone to present right Otherwise, uh, you'll go again into that edit mode and you'll be showing the uh, you know, editing sections and all. Right. Just switch off this edit mode and then present. Right. Then it will be easier for you to browse through. I hope all of you got okay, it. Sir. Sir. Okay, sir. sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please. Go in the booty, sir. Uh, do you know my why my video i mean audio was not here ma'am are you connected Any to some ideas? headphone or something like that uh yes 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 uh, yes probably that is the reason uh, uh that means uh, uh, probably, while recording uh, i should not record through headset no 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 recording you can do uh, but while while presenting i think uh, uh, audio is not uh, uh, coming out right uh, uh, or going into the system as such right so if it is uh, uh, your this is plugged in so maybe it uh, gets confused and goes through or maybe there is some other setting we'll have to check oh. but some reason is there because of which it is happening technical uh, probably in the uh, speaker setting related stuff oh. right. you. output you'll have to i think uh, something has to be done right? Normally, it happens when you uh, put a jack in, na? so uh, rest of the audio gets cut off. Right? Uh -huh. uh, but to me, it was already, I could hear everything. I have checked yes. it several times. But no, I no that, that that is because uh -huh. it is on your laptop, you will be hearing, your speaker uh -huh. will be working, right, sir? So uh -huh. It is not but getting yes, uploaded. Uh, that is. And one more doubt, sir. Actually, it was done. But for making a total complete... Uh, Version in the PDF of our Genomia. Huh. What is the option? Morning, you told now there is another difficulty in HTML only, sir. That is why we have given the link now, sir. You need not, mm -hmm. you can, whatever content is there, you can convert it. I know either you can save it as a PDF and save it into the Google Drive, but you will have to anyway give the link of your Genomio site on the Google form so that. I know HRDC evaluators can see your actual 
course yeah, yeah. Actual, okay. uh, because pdf uh, we cannot evaluate right only just to see through what you have done only that can happen through pdf right uh, voice PDF is breaking course. sir mm. that i understand sir but for simply generating uh, content uh, complete of uh, content complete content of that genomia uh, website pdf uh, na sir uh, just uh, click PDF. here just click here sir there, there is three buttons on right hand side top three three dots you will see na sir browser yes sir on our browser uh, just uh, just uh, see that uh, then you can browse, uh, drop down to uh, print this screen sir that is whatever which will appear in the screen it will take print out na that's all yes no entire page it will print out yes, sir, whatever right. page is entire there it will print out ha whatever content is there in that page it will print out if you mark all it will entire page will come yeah entire thing it will mark out. all uh, not sheet one sheet so mark all yeah. okay okay that's all it's not needed actually now no that is what i said so in case you want you can put it there in the google drive no issues right okay okay <laughs> but google drive you have to have the uh, what uh, uh, our rakesh sir said the video the audio that you have created and the concept plan right don't forget that that okay sir okay. okay okay then bye 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 sir everyone. thank you best of luck to all of you those who are presenting to tomorrow boy nan sir yes ma'am yes sir i uh, created i uh, created uh, the, my course sir but uh, it is not visible in genomia uh, site sir i created uh, again, again uh, but it uh, is this problem <laughs> ma'am what is the site name that you gave Uh, jam dot com. Jam dot com. Just open it up, ma'am. Right. Just put that on the browser and open it up, and uh, uh, see whether you are able it, to sir, log. Sir, I share it. Are uh, you share it, ma'am? Share it, share. It. On second. others those who are not interested in this they can leave <laughs> right. no no everybody is actually interested that's why our uh, right now it is about 20 are saying <laughs> because we have to is a complete and submit now bobo ji sir in practical <laughs> very good sir no because the entire in new for taking uh, leadership has lots of uh, you know try right it's a very challenging sir <laughs> right very challenging right. very good these are uh, problems of leadership right <laughs> ma'am please share and uh, one side benefit also one second sir sir it's visible sir uh just coming up uh, we can just see the it's not come up yet completely mm. Oh. Ma'am, click on the Genomio tab, top. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ah, yes. Right, sir. Okay. Ah, it is there. You are. Uh, this is working. Click on my courses. My courses, top, top. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah. It is there. Just go down. Browse down, ma'am. Sir, I created, but uh, this is a empty. Uh, Did you delete it? Yes, sir. I uploaded, sir, but uh, why this uh, empty in uh, page? Oh, oh, we'll have to ask Rakesh, sir. Can you put a message to Rakesh, sir? <laughs> okay, just, sir. just in WhatsApp group, put at the rate Rakesh, sir. He'll respond uh, immediately. Mm. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Right. you will have to create completely i think again created uh, created in uh, uh, so created again and again but why this uh, no uh, ma'am just uh, just send a message to rakesh sir rakesh sir's number is there in our whatsapp group right he is there okay, he is part of our whatsapp group right so uh, okay, or even you can call him right okay okay thank right. you sir 
because tomorrow you'll have to make presentation ma'am so <laughs> better get ready <laughs> okay then bye bye okay sir see you sir bye we'll okay, call it a day right okay okay, okay sir <laughs> thank you sir thank you sir bye 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 to all